Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, just wanted to make a quick video of me talking about the Skyrim 1.7.7.0 patch uh, that said this came out on Steam 7.23.2012 and was said to be released on the Xbox in the coming weeks, which it's still not out yet as making this video. Uh, inside the patch, what it actually fixes was uh, minor bug fixes, general memory and stability optimization, so anything with making the game run better. It fixed crashes related to new water shaders, fixed crashes related to dragon landings, um, fixed using vampiric, vampiric grip and swimming, no longer prevents swimming animation from player afterwards, uh, fixed a lot of logic in the loading areas with the Xbox version, uh, improved connect voice commands, it also uh, re-enabled dragon language shouts for French, German, Italian, and Spanish. And it fixed issues with Dongar Connect, uh, enabled dragon shouts for the same. So, uh, on Steam, the beta was actually released on 7-23-2012, and the set release date for the PS3, Xbox 360, and Steam is all coming out in the next few weeks, hopefully pretty soon. This update's a long overdue because my game has crashed a ton after the download update and I'm sure the PS3 users and the PC users would be pretty happy to get an update to help make their game run smoother even if it doesn't include download uh, the release for it yet. Check out my other video to see if it actually will come out on the PS3 and PC. Just a quick note about the actual video itself. This is me doing the master level conjugation mission where you uh, are asked to summon an unbound Demora, defeat him a few times, and have him go retrieve a sigil stone, the only sigil stone in Skyrim, for you, and then you return it to him and you get a master master level conjugation spell, which I thought it was just a pretty cool quest uh, for them to put into the game and allow you to actually get sigil stones back. One thing that I did wish they included in this quest was uh, the ability for you to summon uh, clan fears and Demora's back, because those have always been a big part of the uh, Elder Scrolls series, even not only in Oblivion, but also in Morrowind. And this game kind of feels like it just didn't fit right without them, even though it is after the Oblivion Crisis. Uh, just a few more things I wanted to mention, and then I'll just let this thing play, because I don't have too much to talk about today. Is that uh, me and my friend are actually working on a Sound of Skyrim dubstep, where we just take a bunch of sounds from Skyrim, mix them all together, and turn it into a pretty cool beat that can be played. Um, hopefully we can get really sad in the next couple weeks. Also, uh, I'm hoping to make a video about the new DLC that might be coming out for Skyrim soon. Uh, it is rumored to be called Heartfire because they bought, or they uh, copyrighted that title at the same time they copyrighted the Dongar title. Uh, I'll be uh, making a video shortly, maybe the next few days, talking about the actual things that could be in Heartfire, when it could be released, uh, and if we'll see it on all three systems, PC, P PS3, and Xbox. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a rating, subscribe for the latest information on Skyrim updates, DLCs, and all of that. One last thing I wanted to mention before I go was uh, there isn't, there hasn't been any new updates on whether or not Dong or whether or not Dongard will come out for the PC on Steam or the PS Net, PSN Network. Um, I'm hoping the Vice President will release some new information pretty soon. But as soon as I find out new information, I will be sure to make a video and release it for you guys. Um, until then, sorry PS3 users and PC users, uh, Donkart hasn't come out yet, but it will shortly. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Sorry guys, I kind of got a little mixed up here with the mission since I jumped down and it's still kind of me as being on top of that. Uh, I didn't quite know where to go for this mission even though my cursor was telling me it was leading me in the wrong direction. And I looked pretty stupid here, so I might fast forward this or I might just let it run. Uh, try my best to cut out all the loading screens as properly. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. One thing to note about dragons is they actually have a very low mass in this game, so when you hit them with Ice Spear, and mage light they actually will go flying and if you see their bodies start glitching out it's because they have almost no weight and most objects won't interact with them other than ice spear and mage light and i'm not sure maybe candlelight whatever one you can be cast it off you
There are few places where one can pursue my... Mine? Oh, no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Now, let's see what there is to see. That incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding. You've already learned all I can teach you. Take a look. Mm hmm. The people of Skyrim have no appreciation for what. I have the knowledge I need. And so you may have your stone back. And also, please, take this. You have done well. You've already learned all I can teach you. Should you ever fall... So you wish to master the arcane arts? One thing I do want to say about the master level uh, conjugation spells is they're awesome. Storm Tharl, Storm Tharl, Flame Tharl, and uh, Dead Tharl are probably my three favorite spells, with Dead Tharl being my favorite. Being able to summon necroma master necromancers to always follow you around is just pretty badass. Uh, basically, they can kill a giant uh, all by themselves, and you don't have to worry about them not being healed because they're necromancers and they'll do that themselves and you don't need any special healing spell. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys stayed around for the whole video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and please subscribe to me. See you guys.